<laughs> What's up guys, it's Friday night. I have a beverage and I just got a package. Let's see what it is. Boom! The Ninja Never Stick. So I believe this thing is a 13 piece. Thank you Ninja for providing this awesome cookware set. I cannot wait to use it. And I can't wait to put it to the test if it really is never stick. I've got some eggs that are willing to take that challenge here. No. No, no. Ugh. That's what it originally looks like when it comes out of a box. <laughs> Working up a sweat. They're oven safe up to 500. I always look for oven safe pans. Looks like it has a good assortment of skillets, deep saucepans. What is it? 30,000 Fahrenheit. 30,000? Is that what that really says? <laughs> Why? Tell me how hot 30,000 Fahrenheit is. That's too many Fahrenheit. I want to see the test lab. For, like some guy in like goggles is like, blast it! <laughs> okay. This one is only 900. That's crazy. Like I really do want like a tour ninja of this lab. Yeah, oh, 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 here it is. Here it is. Oh, it's a space laser. Ah, Elon is telling me he's fake. Put it to the test! You can... <laughs> oh, there's more stuff, look. Boop. These eggs look to die for, so we're gonna make some eggs before this episode is over. All right, I'm just gonna start bringing pans out because they're kind of just in there. Start bringing them out. Okay, so they kind of are stacked like this, right? So they have nice glass tops. Do they have a steam hole in them? No steam hole, interesting. Those are nice quality though. I mean, they have really good weight. The handles, I would hope, are uh, heat resistant, or what is the other word? Heat retardant. Heat retardant handles. That's an interesting looking pan, look at that. It's kind of got that like moon rock look to it. Moon rock. Welcome back. After initial unboxing, they have really good weight. They seem like they're really good quality. I don't like a pan that's too light. I like to really feel like I have something in my hand. They do have the keyholes in the end, so if you're into like hanging your pans and stuff, you can do that with these. Although I don't know how you would do it with this one. You just have to hold it like this. But anyway, very cool. Definitely like a more rugged feel. Tops fit well. Just a little room, that's probably to keep it from suctioning. There was two pieces of paper in the box. Of course, it's your use and care guide. And then just like a fun visual here with tips and tricks. Kind of explains the technology behind the pan. But yeah, it says before your first use, obviously you're gonna wanna wash these. Stuff from the factory could still be on them, so you wanna make sure they're clean before you add any food to them. Are um, they dishwasher safe? Oh, that is very interesting. Travis won't let me get not dishwasher safe pans, so. Ninja, if they're not, I'm gonna have to send these back to you, sorry. Mine is cast iron, cast iron's okay. While our product is 100% dishwasher safe, hand washing with a mild liquid dish soap is always best. And do not use metallic or abrasive sponges, those scour pads, you don't wanna use that. It recommends when stacking your cookware to place a paper towel between each one. I don't got time for that. I just throw that shit in my pots, or in my uh, drawers, and they get stacked. I don't have time to make sure there's paper towels in between each one. It says to allow the steam to release when using the tempered glass lids for steaming or boiling, simply lift or angle the lid slightly to release the steam. Ninja, listen, I love you, but you guys should have just put holes in the top. There is no need you need to go like this or come back and periodically go like this to burp your pan. I personally think that they should have just taken a little bit more time, put a little hole in there, so you wouldn't have to do that. But whatever, I'm they not. They gotta the, make it cost effective for the consumer. I'm not the the designer, not but if I was, needs free pans. these are the pans I currently have. Look at that. What is that? A burp hole. That's a steamer. That's a steam hole right there. I don't gotta do nothing with this pan. Water just comes out. So anyway. It says it's compatible with all cooktops. It even says it's compatible with halogen cooktops, which I haven't even heard of. Have you ever heard of halogen? No. I honestly don't know. I thought halogen was like some scientific beam. That's what that's what's getting up to the 300,000. That's, that's, that's the, the laser, laser beams. <laughs> 
Here is the haul. All 13 pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight actual, like, you know, pans and pots, and then five tops. The large skillet does not have a topper. Sad. I do really like these handles. I like the feel of them. They grip well, like my hand just kind of really feels natural there. I don't know if that's anything special or not, but I really like the handles. They're just kind of industrial looking, I like them. I'm gonna cook on them, that's what we're really here for, right? Yeah. Yeah, we wanna yeah. know how they work. All right, so first things first, egg. Wash them. I am, I'm gonna wash it. First things first, egg, I'm gonna wash it with soap and water, I'm gonna do that before any other pan that you see here that I use, I promise. I am washing it with soap and water. Okay, the first thing I'm making is eggs. I'm gonna make it in this super cool egg omelet. Very cool handle, I really like the handles. All right, let me grab my egg, a little bit of butter, because I mean, you're honestly crazy if you just don't put butter out. Wait, babe. No! This is a test! Okay, but I mean, who makes eggs without butter? Like. I always scrub my pan down with like a little of olive oil. Like I always do that, no matter the pan. Don't give a of a shit. Don't give a of a <laughs> I'll try it, but I'm not happy about it. All right, so we're gonna let it preheat for about a minute because it's just an egg. We don't want it really hot. Right, we're gonna go middle only. No butter for the first. For the first test, you gotta, you gotta get, you know. You're, it's fine. It's fine. We can go it's no for butter. Science. It's for science. You, you think laser shooting thirty thousand Fahrenheit guy hasn't tested this? The butter was browned like three light years ago. Yeah. One egg. It's got a good edge for cracking. I don't know, I think I should have buttered it. Well, this is for science. What do you think? I think it needs some type of oil or or butter. Cause that is not not sticking. Look at that. Ready? I'm gonna try and like kinda <laughs> get that. Did you see it? I'm not gonna flip it because I'm gonna make a mess. So much for never stick. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> So let's try and see if I can like get it off the bottom here. No. No, no. That is a ever stick. Wow, that's all stick actually. That'll be forever stuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna see, we're gonna clean the pan and we're gonna try it with butter this time. I'm telling you, I don't think you can use any pan without any type of oil. So like, that's just stupid to say, oh, just cook an egg. It won't stick. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. Wasted a good bird. Maybe it's yep. maybe it's never stick when you're cleaning up. Well, let's spray. Oh, that's pretty fun. Look at that. I like that though. Okay, so look at that. That's interesting. Honestly, eggs normally take some scrubbing. I didn't touch it once, but with water. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. So maybe like the cleanup is never stick. So let's try it again. Butter. All right, we're back in action. All right, so we got the butter melted. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. I think I want to try and flip it with, I, I think we could flip it without a spatula. Oh yeah? <laughs> Oh my god! Too much, too much. <laughs> nice, I even hit the stove. It's looking pretty pretty good. It's looking pretty non stick. Nope, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I flipped, double flipped it. Beautiful. A little overdone than I would have normally liked it, but very good cook, I would think. I mean, I wasn't trying to cook an egg a certain way, I was just trying to f around with it, you know? Tastes just like NASA. <laughs> Okay, next up for science, we're gonna see how fast the water boils. These are apparently some cool technology that makes it heat up quicker. So let's put it to the test. I'm gonna put two quarts of water in here, which is eight cups of liquid. I'm gonna pour it on one. And I'm going to put it on all the way high. This is a 22,000 BTU center burner, if that means anything to you. And when I mean all the way high, it is all the way high, but the flames are actually going on the outside of the pan. 
You want to make sure that flame matches this, the diameter of your pan. And then I'm going to throw the lid on it. Here, I'll just start a timer right here. So while this is boiling, I'm going to do a cheese test. So we did the egg test. I've seen a cheese test where you take some shredded cheese, you just put it there, let it melt, see if you can flip it. So that's what we're going to do. Do a smidge of oil. I almost treat all of my pans like cast irons. I mean, what's it really going to hurt to put just a small layer of oil rubbed down? Look, you can't even see this there. I just think it's a nice film. So I'm just going to go ahead, throw some shredded cheese. Almost like a, uh, it'll be like a cheese tortilla when we're done here. Just spread it out here. See what happens. Once I get this bottom layer of cheese kind of melty, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can move it around. Oh no, it's moving. Yeah, 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 it's moving. Oh, it's breaking apart. Oh, it's turning into queso. Oh my God, I was hoping for a tortilla. Uh -oh. I didn't think, <laughs> I don't know what I thought it would do. I mean, that's a good test though. Look at that, ready? <laughs> oh my God, ready? You flipped a liquid cheese. I mean, that's a pretty good test. So we're at four and a half minutes. Ooh, some of them are coming up to pop, but we're not like at a rolling boil yet. So I'm not gonna consider it boiled. Honestly, this cheese is fun. This would be interesting to do like if you were making a burger, you could like, kind of pour it over the burger and make like a melty. At this point now, I've gone too far, but earlier. You know, burned cheese is one of the hardest things to get off. Burn some cheese for science. It's almost to a rolling boil. We are very close. So as far as this cheese is concerned, it's not sticking, but it's not flipping. So, uh, yeah, it's not, I mean. That's no tortilla. It's no stick though. It's a lot of grease and fat though. Um, okay, I'm gonna turn that off. The cheese. Watch this, ready? No stick. Gross. Seven minutes, 22 seconds. Ooh, ow! Okay, the handles are hot. Great to know. Great to know. Yay, science! And that was with two quarts of water and no salt. Okay, back to the most important part. They are, they get hot. The tops get hot. So unfortunately, this is what you'll have to be doing so you don't burn your little fingers. All right, guys, we just put these pans to the test. I know we didn't do much, but I don't know what else to show you. <laughs> Quick recap on these pans, a little pro and con here. All right, for cons, let's start sad and end with a high note. I don't like that the handles for the lids get hot, the handles for the you know pots get hot. They don't have the you know steam hole release in the pan lid, so you've gotta burp it or keep it askew. And then the big, this guy right here, he doesn't have a lid. So maybe you can buy that separately, but it does not come with a 13 piece. But pros, initially they look really good. They are sexy, they are sleek. I am absolutely in love with these handles. They're ergonomic. Um, they have a really good weight to them. So as far as visually, they look great. List is never stick. You know, you need a little oil when you're actually cooking, um, but they are truly never stick when you do have just a little oil on there. And as far as cleaning, they are really good about never sticking as well. We just used some water and was able to spray off anything that was on the pan. So that's very cool. Also, they are dishwasher safe. So that is awesome. We don't buy any pans in this house unless they can go in the dishwasher because we are lazy mother <laughs> Crazily, they can get up to 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Apparently the lids can't, but the inside of the pans have been tested and can go to 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and We're then- testing that on the next video. I'm, get, I'm finding some scientists with like a high power laser. Um, you find a redneck probably sooner. Yeah, right. <laughs> These sell for retail for $400. Check the link in the description. I'm sure you can find a coupon code there. Overall, I think for a $400 13-piece pan set, this is a really good quality. I'm really happy with it. I'm excited to get to use them a little more. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are new here, go ahead and check out all of our other shit. We got videos, we got unboxings, we got recipes, we got it all. So just let me know what you wanna see. We put out new content every week, so I will see you around.